Oh, he's catching up, but this chump thinks he's gonna take me out? Oh, oh, hurry, JW Koopo! He's gonna bash you! Ha! <laughs> Not a chance. Come on! Yes! 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 Yeah, you did it, yes. Koopo! <laughs> oh, did you see that? Yeah, Koopo! Yeah, that's how it's done. Oh, oh! How's about another race, Koopo? Mog, buddy, I, I would. I would play some more, but honestly, I think I've had enough racing games for one day. I mean, we've already played some Diddy Kong racing, Chocobo racing, Sonic R, and you remember how well that went, right? Oh, yeah, that, oh, man, whoa, that was an experience, Koopo. Just, just making sure that we was on the same page there. Not a good time, not a good time. Oh, what do you mean, Koopo? It looked like you was having so much fun playing that game. <laughs> yeah, right, I have about as much fun waiting for my videos to export in After Effects and playing that garble a mess. But I guess I will say that maybe there's about uh, one or two tunes that did catch my attention in the game. So, I'll, I'll give it that much. Now, if you want to ask me anything else, that's fine, other than asking me if I had fun with Sonic R. Well, if we're not going to play any more racing games, then do you want to play something else? So, what do you want to do, Koopo? I don't really know. <laughs> I don't really have anything planned. It, it would have been cool to do a video, but I don't really have an idea for anything, so... Um, how's about we check and see what's on the tube of you? The tube of what, you Koopo? YouTube. The YouTube. Oh, well, I mean, I just... I, mm, I, I, mm, I kind of no, thought no, that you was... I was up. talking well, about YouTube. I mean, if you was oh, up, right, well, right. well, why did you just see what's YouTube, on? Koopo? see what's on. Hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, look at this. This looks pretty fun to watch. Oh, would you look at that? Another ad to waste my time. Hey everybody, Head Loving Gamer here, and I'm working on a new and fun go-karting experience that's sure to blow your tires off. We're taking the best of the best racers from across the world and featuring them in a once-in-a-lifetime chance at the Big Race Grand Prix with 101 players. That's unreal. 100 players? 101 players. Now I know what you're thinking, and this is the real deal. But in order to get there, we're searching for the few final contestants. So if you think you've got what it takes, tweet me a picture of yourself in your coolest racing gear. And let's get this show on the road! Mog. Koopo? Shockingly enough, I think I know what we're going to do for today. What are you planning to do, Koopo? I mean, isn't it obvious? It's showtime. How's it going and welcome back to the Bear Boy Show, all you cool people out there. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in to today's episode. And might I add that it's a special episode? That's right. If you're a fan of old school retro stuff like me, then chances are you've heard of a few little games like Mario, Sonic, Pokemon. Yeah, small stuff, right? <laughs> well, there's this guy online doing some really cool and wacky stuff with these type of games and, well... Why don't we let the man himself tell you what it is that he's got going on? Give it up for the Pixel Man with the plan, our boy Chris, the hat loving gamer! Are we recording? Yep, welcome to the show, Koopo! Haha, <laughs> thanks for having me on. I'm uh, pretty parched. Could you get me a drink? Oh, I can help you with that one, Koopo! One Moogle tea coming right up, Koopo! <laughs> Cool, thank you. No problem, Koopo. Okay, so we keep you from dying of thirst, and you tell us the juicy info. So why don't you tell us and the viewers at home what it is that you do? Sure, well, a few years back I recorded some gameplay footage. Uh, it was me playing Super Mario Kart. I chose Toad, of course. Um, but I added a few more players in. Yeah, I added 93 more players in. And then we had Mario Kart with 101 players. So yeah, all the new characters were from different games, they had to be drawn in the same style as the original Mario Kart, and 101 is quite a few players, so if you name a game, they're usually in there. Really? Okay, I mean, that that's some tall words to live by. Go, go ahead, N name someone now and I'll see if they're in there. Any game. Hmm, how's about Banjo? Who? You no, know, Banjo from Banjo-Kazooie. Come on, who doesn't know Banjo by now? He's from the Rareware platformer for the 64. Oh, Banjo. Is Banjo in there? Uh, yeah, yeah, Banjo's in there. Go ahead, uh, another one. Give me another one. 
Mm, all right, so we got Banjo. How's about... Cloud Koopa? Fox McCloud? Yeah, he's in there. <laughs> no, no. He's talking about Cloud Strife. He's got spiky, uh, spikier hair. He's from the game Final Fantasy, or, or Final Fantasy VII, rather. He just had a remake that came out, like, earlier this year, like, April. Oh, no, there's no Final Fantasy characters in there, actually. I don't think there's a single Final Fantasy character. Whoa, 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 okay, listen, we was on to a good start when you said that Banjo was in there, but now you're telling me that there's no Final Fantasy? I mean, quite frankly, I'm hurt. <laughs> Why are we even doing this episode today? Haha, <laughs> that's funny. Don't worry, I'm just, I'm just teasing you. If I had to choose one or the other, you know, I just had to accept which one's there, I guess I'll take Banjo. But, um, but yeah, uh, please, continue. But yeah, that video was part one now, because now I'm making a part two. But then, the original got taken down by Nintendo. Twice. And, uh, that made me very sad. Twice. Oh, Koopo. I don't want to repeat of last time, so part two is going to be completely copyright free. I'm working hard on the course, that's going to be completely original. And all the races are going to be original characters submitted to me by my viewers. Oh, Nintendo, man, you just gotta love them, don't you? What an interesting bunch and some choices that they make. Yeah, you gotta love them. You gotta love them. The choices they make. Oh. Mark, I spilled my drink. Can you get me another drink, please? Mm, it's okay, Koopo. I can fix that for you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. It definitely seems like you're on a good path with the plans, with what you're working on with other artists and such, which I think will definitely be a big deal to see for those people who make it in and for your channel as well. So that's going to be really cool to see. The end results, that is. That's, that's what I'm talking about. Speaking of, how long exactly have you been doing YouTube for? Like, when was your start? Like, for me, I started back in 2018, but I know I definitely seen your stuff online well before I sold my social life to this godforsaken platform, so when, when was your start to, you know, hop on this lovely train that is content creation? Well, I've had this account since 2015. Uh... But before doing what I do now, I had a band. I'm not really a singer, but I was a singer. And uh, and the last music video we did was inspired by video games. Oh, that's pretty yeah, different. So. Well, yeah, it was a video game music video, but yeah, I don't normally do music videos. It was about five minutes long, but it took me four years to do. Wow, four years, Koopo? <laughs> yep. Wow, that animation must be top stuff, Koopo. <laughs> oh. It took so long because I was learning on a job, um, and it didn't help that I redid the whole thing a couple of times. And also, I was inspired by my PS1 games, uh, which I didn't really have a very good grasp on at the time. So, where I was going for, well, where I should have gone for low poly and very stylized, it looks more like I've just got low quality models. So after spending four years on it, I put it out, and it wasn't really gaining any traction. So I started reaching out to gaming channels, asking if they could do like a shout out. None of them got back to me, which is a shame. Reply to your fans, guys. But anyway, shortly after that, I thought if I had my own gaming channel, then I could share the music video myself. So your whole channel is all because of this one video, Kobo? <laughs> yep. Yeah. But then I got into the stuff I was doing, and then I kind of forgot the video that I made it for in the first place. And now it just kind of feels like an old video. Don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm proud of it. It's just... It has its flaws, and I'm aware of its flaws, and the fact that I got it finished was really something at the time, so, I, yeah. I mean, sure, it may not be a magnum opus, but it sounds like, to me, it was a pretty important video to kind of nudge you into the path that you are now, so, I mean, I'd definitely like to see it one of these days if you ever decide to upload it for fun. I might share it one day. I don't know, maybe. We'll see. It's, like I say, it's, quite, it's pretty old now. Well, let's move on to the question of what's your favorite retro game? There are a lot of games that come close, but for me, my favourite's got to be Streets of Rage. I fell in love with the game setting, and I haven't really felt the same way about a game setting since, or at least not as much. I mean, there are some other great ones as well. I always remember the first time I played the game, and this is also true to a lot of other games around the same time, and it might make me sound a little bit old. Nowadays, if you want to see what happens later in a game, or if you even want to see the game's ending, you can just look it up online. But you couldn't do that around the time of the old Streets of Rage games. Getting to that black screen where it says Stage 8, and it's the first time you've got to Stage 8, 
you have no idea what to expect. That was awesome. Nowadays, people tend to see the games before they play them and they know pretty much what's coming, but back then, you just, oh, amazing. And as a shy kid who likes action movies, it's pretty cliche, but the whole thing of taking on so many people at the same time, that's, that will always be awesome. I gotta hand it to you there. While I mostly grew up playing some of the basic stuff like Mario and Sonic, I do share fond memories of playing Streets of Rage with my brother in our younger days. Although we never really got too far, because we was always bumping heads from hitting each other in a game. <laughs> um, but yeah, the Streets of Rage games aren't afraid to really try your patience, I've learned. You just gotta really get in there and kick some ass, probably die a few times, but honestly, I mean, you just get back up and do it all again until you win, right? Basic video game design, it doesn't get any simpler than that. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's usually how the strategy goes. Okay. We'll get into these pretty fast, so let's move on to the next one, and that one is, if a Nintendo IP was underneath your control to direct, which would it be? Which kind of game would it be? What, what game? What game would you choose? Uh, well, for me, um, yeah, I'm not really a game designer. Uh, I've tried, I've dabbled, I've dabbled, but I don't really know anything about coding, well, I know nothing about coding, so whenever I want to make a game, which I have tried to do, I need to rely on too many other people, so there's that. But the other thing is, I'm too much of a fanboy when it comes to games, so I probably wouldn't look at what everybody likes about it, instead I'd just focus on just what I like about it and go too much in that direction, so. But to answer your question, I'd probably, it'd probably have to be Pikmin. Uh, only because when I've played Pikmin in the past, I've thought of things I would like to be in the game. They're all great games as they stand, so what I could bring to them I don't really know, but there are some few ideas I've had while playing them that I just think would be pretty cool. Hmm, ideas such as? Where the difficulty is just rocketed up. That'd be cool, that'd be cool. Another thing in Pikmin 3 is the Pikmin can be used to build bridges, and I thought what would be really cool is if you could build like a train track. Pikmin are really small, by the way, if you don't really know. So if you could build like a toy trains track and then eventually once you'd finished the track you could actually use it to get around. One thing that I thought would be really cool though for a Pikmin game is like a would be a crossover Pikmin game because as I said Pikmin are really small and in the games you tend to pick up giant treasures or giant fruits. So I thought a Pikmin crossover game would be really cool. Like like the Smash Brothers of Pikmin. Where you go through different Nintendo universes and you have to pick up stuff from there and take on the enemies from that game but on a Pikmin scale. I think that would be cool. And I always thought it would be pretty cool if you could tame the baddies in Pikmin, so you could ride on the Pikmin baddies. Thinking of little things that I would like in the game is kind of more me. I'm not really... It would be nice if I could be employed as a guy that just shouts ideas at people rather than actually be in charge of the whole thing. I'd love that. Hang on. Um, of course, I've thought of ideas for new Pikmin. I'm sure everybody who's played the game has probably had that thought at some point. Um, and I think there should be a bonus stage of some kind where you get to play at night. In case people don't know, in the games at night, the nocturnal enemies come out and they eat any Pikmin that you've left behind. So the idea is to actually get off the surface uh, for night time. But I think occasionally it'd be pretty cool to actually play at night and it's just, everything's just a hundred times much harder. I still have yet to play Pikmin 3 actually. I mean, I could always just take the Wii U off the shelf, dust it off and, you I mean, boot it up and play the game. I did get it for free back in the time when it was given away as a promotional thing for um, Mario Kart 8. Or, I mean, I could just get the Switch version that did just come out, so there's always that. Well, we'll see. One of these days, I'll decide on which I do for that. But, I have played my fair share of 1 and 2, and I think your additions for Pikmin 4 sound pretty interesting and really Nintendo-like in itself. Have you actually thought about committing to, you know, something like that just for the fun of it? Maybe something like a mod, um, you know, for one of the other Pikmin games? I mean... I, I don't actually know how hard it would be to make something like that, but yeah. Not really. Um, I did get really bored once and I started planning a, a Super Smash Bros. game, but instead of fighting it was racing, and that was pretty cool. Instead of changeable costumes, you'd get changeable vehicles. Master Hand would be on one of those little finger bikes. That's about as far as I got, because then I think I found something else and I wasn't bored anymore. Look, all you have to do is tell me that Cloud, Banjo, or Sora, or all three of them are in the game, and I'm definitely locked in. Heck, consider this a verbal confirmation on that future pre-order of the hypothetical game that you're talking about. <laughs> so, you better be taking notes. <laughs> I still don't know who this Cloud is. Alright, my friend, it comes down to the big question we've all been waiting for. Go on. 
do you maybe have a demo for us of the, I don't know, the big 101 player Grand Prix? Pre, Goopo. Grand Prix. Haha, <laughs> do I? Oh, do you do? Do I what? You just... Uh, <laughs> the, the game. Do you have something for us to demo? A demo for Mario Kart with 101 players? Part 2? Yep. Oh, the video. That's the one. Uh, no. Uh... What? Well, I don't want to spoil anything, JW. Oh, God. Ah, okay. That makes sense. I don't want to spoil anything. Kind of like this water section right here? Exactly. Whoa, you even added a crane to it. Talk about a facelift. Why'd you keep showing stuff? All right, they've seen enough now. Oh, uh, I guess you can show them this. Chris, buddy, thanks for coming out here on the show and giving us a chance to experience something as cool as that live. Like, I'm gonna be honest, I don't know what else to say. It was freaking cool. <laughs> well, I'm glad you guys had fun. And hey, thanks for having me on the show. And thank you for the drink. Hey, no problem at all. Hospitality's A1 here at the Bear Boy Show Hotel and Resorts. Just, uh, leave a tip at the door. You know, a little something. Do you actually have anything that you want to plug before we finish up? I usually ask other guests the same thing before we go. It's you know, just a little nice thing to do. So, you know, if you have anything you want to share, do it now. Well, you can check out my channel. I usually do sprite animations and mostly Mario, Pokemon, Sonic, a few others as well. Nice. Well, make sure you check out the links below. We can give him a follow on his Twitter and make sure you check out his YouTube channel. Subscribe because you don't want to miss out on those cool retro game animations he's made. It's it's a treat, trust me, it's a treat for the eyes, don't want to miss it. Speaking of not wanting to miss something, don't forget to drop a like, comment, and subscribe to your boy for all things Bear Boy, and consider checking out my Patreon as well. It definitely allows me to pop out more creative content like this, so if, if you like this stuff, check it out, you know, and support the channel, like these bad people below here. I, uh, I, I have to give them a shout out each time below, it's, it's in the contract. I don't want the Patreon Mafia to come knocking at my door, so... Yeah! They're cool, you're cool, and it'd be cool if you helped out the show! With that being said, thanks again for tuning in to today's video. You know, it's, it's definitely been a fun time, as I've said before, but hopefully we'll see you around for the next one. Take care, stay safe, and make sure to... Oh, and if Patreon's your thing, I have a Patreon, you can check out my Patreon.